With version 2010, Vectorworks Design Series users will enjoy automatic management of reference information, linking sheet numbers, drawing numbers on sheet borders, drawing labels, and section elevation markers. To demonstrate this capability, we will begin by creating a section viewport right through the center of this building. Notice that you now have the ability to add the drawing title in the dialog as you create your section viewport. The drawing number can be added here as well. From the dialog, we will modify the visible layers of the viewport and increase its scale to 1 to 200, then click OK. Now that the section viewport is rendered, we will take a look at the drawing label. Note that the drawing label is automatically populated with the drawing number, which is 1, this is the only drawing on this particular sheet, the title, section at stair tower, and the sheet number and scale. These pieces of information are automatically coordinated among the sheet border, title block, drawing labels, and sheet layer name and title. If we take a look at the organization dialog box, we see that the sheet number, which uniquely identifies the sheet layer, and the sheet title, which further describes the sheet layer, are two separate fields. This is new in Vectorworks 2010. Looking at the layer drop-down list, you'll see that, for sheet layers, both the sheet number and the sheet title appear here. If, from any part of the user interface, we make a change to any data for a particular drawing, for example, changing the number for this sheet, the title block, drawing label, and sheet layer it resides on will all be coordinated and updated automatically. Let's take a look at the model floor plan itself. You'll notice that the section elevation marker, which created the viewport, has also updated on the model, reflecting the change we made to the sheet number. Finally, let's take a look at a common drawing set change that could occur frequently as your office develops a set of drawings. In many cases, you may want to move a viewport from one sheet to another. With Vectorworks 2010, we can simply cut a viewport from this A2.2 sheet and paste it in the A2.4 sheet. Notice that the drawing label for the viewport has automatically updated to A2.4. If we return to the section elevation marker used to create this section, we see that it has also updated to reflect the section's new sheet number. The addition of automatic drawing coordination in Vectorworks 2010 provides you with an efficient, coordinated workflow that will make you more productive and your design documents more accurate.